Hello guys, how are you all? So I'm here to show you quickly. Um, the Bilor had Tone Mask blenders I made for the Luca Inlex. Um, I made this uh, blender series because I mostly work uh, when I'm doing scans with um, three layers here. Let me show you quickly here. Where is it? Um, here is it. I use this, which is a base tone. I use a, another layer that I made sometimes and I use this one as well to blend in the face. I have a skin here I was doing. I haven't touched the sides on purpose because I wanted to show you guys how to, how to work around with this. Um, you guys can work, uh, can use this as a, a face mask, okay, as layers if you want to sell this or I mean, let me show you guys uh, where the textures actually go, okay. So it's similar to this one here I made. Let me open here quickly. I have made a lot of tones of this and I also put on my full perm skins, but I thought I could make a special uh, mask for the lower tones because you guys are making a lot uh, of stuff and skins to blend with the lower uh, skin tones. So it's very similar to this one here, although I use this one here for the face, those two. I use one neck like this and I I try to erase here the neck as up as I could without getting on the seam here. Okay, so there are six textures. Let me show you here quickly on the folder. I have made all of tones of lore. There are 60, I mean uh, 56 tones I guess. I have the Panima here, all tones. All tones here, the Halloween tones as well. Okay, the Venus and the Panima. And I have made the Eros and the Eros Halloween as well. Um, some textures might be very similar similar to others, but I have tested all uh, body skins on so you guys just need to grab this and work, okay? Um, here is the texture I will show you guys how to work, okay? And also I will put a, um, a PSD file here, here. Um, maybe this will get tricky here and... Alright, so I have the Panima here and the arrows here, I have the ears, all ears Sorry, it's kind of freezing because there's a lot of textures. Be aware, be aware guys, that this file has 4 gigabytes, so before downloading this. Okay, so um, that's about it. There's, there's the 6 textures I will show you in the world, where it gets. Um, these tones are all exact tones of the bar. Okay, um, so I'll show you guys um, in the world here. So I show you guys, there's all of tones. All tones, okay. There's 312 textures in the whole. Um, I will put a download link here. That will be around here. Okay, you guys can download this. You can make a folder on your computer and just download the textures to use. If you guys uh, don't need to use this, you guys will use this if you, I mean, make all tones of one face. But it's not likely. But it's here for you guys. So it's really easy. You guys can drag the face texture here okay I'm gonna be working here um, on another template here because it, it kind of freezes for me so for instance here I haven't dragged the ears but um, or the neck but you, I drag the head one and head two okay you guys can see I have made a texture without touching here to show you and um, you guys can make uh, your texture on the rose kiss and uh, I forgot the darker skin tones for the panima or the but the adjustment layers of the Valor, you guys can make the rose kiss and then use the adjustment layers. But you guys, if you guys don't want to use the head textures from the Valor, you can use this and make it your own. And you can even resell them as full permission as I do, because Valor does not allow to sell their head textures. So let's get to the point here. So guys, so guys, let me show you here. In the demo, I will put the screen um, tone from the arrows, okay, because it's the lightest and with the least saturation, it's kind of a tintable one here, actually. Okay, let me just put the the body tone here quickly for you guys to see. Let me see where is it. It's over here, arrows for legacy. Here, for instance, is the screen. It's it's on here. 
but yes here okay guys over here the screen body tone is kind of white tone really white grayish tone okay guys all the textures will be matching like this okay so for instance here the second neck here I guess yes the second version of the neck that I that I made um, so let me take this off to show you guys where the texture goes okay this is the second version of the neck I tried to erase as much as I could up here on the neck so you guys don't have much trouble here on this um, areas here and um, on these bones okay you guys can see different from the neck one it blends okay but it kind of covers a lot of the texture here so I made two necks okay this is neck one with the head two I guess so this is a head shoe with the neck one okay guys I'm just showing you guys uh, just to see where the textures goes and I put a whole face plan here of course it's the uh, main Lutka uh, skin here but in all the art tones okay guys here I put uh, the same as I showed before with the neck a little upper and as well the the head shoe and the head three here guys you guys can use this as a like a blender you guys can make this use this as, a, as some prop or something and um, I will just put the testers here on the folder because as you guys can see here there are 312 texture here so if you guys want to test this will be all for perms you just can add it tint it whatever you like it you can download from here the textures if you want okay it will be packed on the box of course and also uh, the download here uh, link okay guys so let's get to the point here how we work here for instance and uh, when I make a skin here I, I project on the the mesh okay and what really happens here mostly is um, let me see where is it here okay guys I was just crafting a skin here so um, I haven't touched the sides here I just uh, airbrushed here to take off the grayish tones that happens and uh, actually I just made her almost as a whole here I just left this here to show you guys so after you projected your face here you made everything okay it's kind of freezing here a little sorry okay guys when you project a face here on the mesh you guys that work with it already um, we have some issues going on because we are working and we project on a 2D image to a 3D object with, in, this, in this case, is a head. We had issues going on here when we project a face here. We had issues on the mouth, that is uh, easy to fix. The nose is kind of tricky and boring to correct and some parts here, sometimes we get some lashes here in makeup in that in some cases we don't want. But mostly when we project like a, uh, a raw shot because of the lightning, it will um, project here on the sides mostly grayish um, smeared stuff here that's really awkward okay, that's why I use this I, when I make a nice skin, I just open I used to open the um, just the main base, which is this one here okay, and I open like whatever I use the sienna or the base skin here and then I, I made the tones, okay um, here for example this is the, 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 the rose skin tone, okay so for example, here if I want um, this to be the rose case, you just need to work with exposure here a little. You guys will need to, to raise here a little as well, okay? And for instance here, let me show you, okay, she's here. Okay, the ears and the neck guys use the same tone, and just if you guys want to just load the whole stuff, the base is the head here that will work, okay? so. For instance, for instance, that she is um, has too many um, details here. You want to erase or something? You can duplicate this layer here. You can, that's why I put the, this whole covered hair head here. Okay. This one here I put, and it comes around here in the verge of the the ear. 
You guys can use this if you can work around a little more, okay? After you craft the skin here, you can just grab the smudge tool and, okay, just smudge this thing here out. Smudge this thing, this thing out here and I mostly use this one here. You can, uh, for instance, put this one. You guys can lower the opacity and see what you can still get from the original skin here. Okay, you guys, you can just erase here. You guys can uh, use this to grab a, the hues from the region, from the skin you want. Saturation, the color. Be aware of some spots that you might not want. Okay. So you guys can, for instance, here, just let me correct this one here just a little. Uh, for instance, we are getting the rose kiss tone here. So she's a little saturated here. perfect tone but anyways I'm just to show you guys how to work around so let's save her here Okay, let's load again because Second Life kind of does not help us at all. So it's the Evelyn test. Okay, here she is. It's kind of similar to the Rose Kiss. Okay, I'll just grab here for instance. I'll just try to find here. So we want the Rose Kiss ears and some of the necks here. So, as you guys can see, actually, this is the Sienna um, skin tone, so it's, she will be, get a little lighter than she should be. Okay, guys, here she is, almost ready. Um, you guys can use this, for instance, as I was talking, for instance, she is too, I mean, too, there's too many details, you want to just soften her, you can use the tone here. Can put this to normal and just put like 10 or 15 or 20 or something. There's some people like really soft skins like this, but I just like to give a hint to grab as a whole to just um, match. Okay, I like raising the brows. Okay, before putting this. As you can see that she already got a little softer, softer, sorry, and blended a little better, okay, it's the exact tone, okay, so, but, for instance, I'm not going to use this, I'm going to try to achieve the tone, so, uh, we can make this manually, as I did, or you can just duplicate this, and you can match the color with the background, of course, I have um, open here the, the texture, just drag this, this, and you can save on the folder the years and the next for to upload or use it, okay, and uh, let's try here. Go to match color. Let's select our template to go to background here. Okay. You guys try never to use this as a whole. You guys can see the texture you really get messed up. We're trying to achieve the tone actually, not uh, lose the tails of the texture. here and 
exposure here. Let's see what we can do. Exposure with something like this. Okay, we have just a spot here. Just smudge this out. I have erased too much here. And here the tone is a little closer to that one already. Okay, guys, um, in my case, I try to pay attention to some color that we might keep. For instance, we might want to keep the color of the lips. A little, I'll just lower the opacity. Just to grab a little of the lips here. Okay. Let's see how she turns out. Of course, I'm making this really quickly, guys, here, just to show you guys. You guys can see it's kind of too white. You can work around this a little bit more. Let's see. She's a little darker, actually, so exposure. Let's duplicate those layers here. Actually, I have erased here without duplicating, so let's find again. We can drag again the texture, which is over here, the texture that we want. Okay. Of course, guys, those steps are just kind of uh, preparations for you guys to, uh, if you guys just sell, um, if I sell the dollar tones without being full permissions, you just make prepare this and just load on the adjustment layers that has on the kit, I will show it quickly, but I have like two or three videos already showing this. Okay, you can use this, you can duplicate it as many times as you want. It will be like a gradient coming from the middle of the face and to out of the face. Okay. okay guys, that's, that's the way I work, okay? And without having too many tone issues here. Alright, so after this you guys can, for instance, if you want to make a, another tone here. Let's try to make another really different tone here. Let's see... I don't know, let's see... Maybe it's a tone here. Just drag them both. Of course you guys can use the Photoshop uh, PSD that I provided to work as well. But I'm just not playing with that because it's really big and the workflow here will not happen. <laughs> so let's try here with this one. Let's just take off those ones. to match her color to see how it turns out here. So we want to match with the lower Lisa. Okay, match, match color. The full covered version, of course. So here again, always duplicate layers uh, to work with this. I mean, anything on Photoshop. Release the brows and save her again. Be aware of the eye socket, guys. Uh, actually, I haven't told you, but I always wear the eye socket because I. I have made a conclusion that I, if I use the eye socket as a guide, I will not get off the template that much or at all. Okay, let's try that one. Okay. You guys can erase the lips and try to uh, recover a little of the tones again. So let's try to find a visa tone here again. Yeah? 
one of the necks and the ears and can test this out. Neck. And one of the ears. <laughs> okay. Um actually those guys because I work like this and this will be on my my course, all the textures and that's the way I work. You guys might work in a different way, but uh, it's I I spent some hours or days having headaches trying to fix those things here because when I start making textures for the head we pay attention to this stuff here and we forgot to have the head and the ears and the neck and it gets all messed up. I have like 10 textures I just gave up because it's too difficult to actually fix. But um, that's about these guys. I'm here. Uh, as I told you I will try to show you here on the adjustment layers here, okay? So I made a rose kiss already here. The rose kiss I was doing. This is a rose kiss I just made. So in the after you made all this uh, stuff, you guys can use those to grab the uh, heels from the that you want to put. Okay, guys, you can well do this as you wish. Okay, you can load this to second life to the is a neck blender if you guys have some issues with some kind of skin. But I made this for the people that create skin. So. Here she is, and actually, let's try to find her. Uh, here. So, go to adjustment layers from the various skin tones. I made this on purpose in the case to show you this already, guys. So. so, here is once again the adjustment layers. Okay, Kira made a rose kiss as a base. Okay, so you guys can make this. You can use as much as you want from the texture, and then we have the rose kiss here. Drag her here, okay, and then just click oops, on the adjustment layer that you want. We grab all tones here. We need to fix some 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 spots at times, okay. So let's see. For instance, I want to make her as a sienna tone, okay. Okay, let's save her. And save the ears, guys. Um, I have already talked to you guys, and you guys might have noticed. But if you guys are just making for the without being transfer permission, I mean, you have a regular store without being full purpose, you don't need to upload the neck because that will be attached to the body. So I will have to save the ears here because I haven't had here and once ears. So it will be all the tones. <laughs> That's how it turns out after you made. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. So let's test her out. I'm already using the Sienna, but I'm a Sienna tone here, so it will get perfect, hopefully. I don't Sienna. See yeah, here, those two textures you need to upload. Actually, I'm doing here. Okay, we don't need the neck, we just need the ears. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired here because I haven't spent some days doing this stuff. Alright, here she is. You guys can see that it blends perfectly because it's the, the kit. Just be attention here sometimes when it works around with the <laughs> with the texture itself. Okay, let's see here. Just got a little too wide so just need to mess with exposure here on the texture itself.
that saver. You know, just try to. Just some um, final adjustment here that you'll need. It should be also here, 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 but anyways. Okay, guys, I think she looks good here. For the purpose, she's a little too light here. Okay. You can even grab the open adjustment uh, layer and open the, the blenders I made here, for instance, with the sienna. You can grab the sienna again here. Sienna, where is it? Should I? Where's the sienna? Okay. Here. You can grab the sienna here if you like. If you want to like cover a little bit more and grab the hues or even the whole head here and try to Just a little here, guys, just grabbing in those, those heels around here, okay? Apart from not paying attention to the lips or some detail that I want to keep, but I'll just show you guys here, okay? How to, to work with this. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, guys, I think she looks okay, alright, not perfect, but she's okay. So we have the ears, these are the velour textures. Okay. And that's about it guys, I think. Let me try to take this, okay. show you guys quickly how it turns out with my texture here. Okay. So then this. The one I made. Okay, guys, the neck. <laughs> and ears. Okay. It matches perfectly. In the second neck here I made, I tried to, as I told you twice, I tried to raise here as much as I could. If you guys are making for the average body, please pay attention to try to grab again the Adam's apple here because guys have those that. Okay. So I think that's about these guys. I'm I just want to show you guys for what is the purpose of this. I'm putting this on my course. This will be free on my course, and the link will be below in the video. And um, also the marketplace link. I will put all the textures and all of the download links, so you guys can do whatever you guys wish with this. I hope this helps you guys guys out to craft the, the textures. Okay, and that's about it, guys. I'm sorry if the video got a little long. I tried to cut some parts off, but anyways. This is the pur pur purpose of the the thing here, okay, guys. So, any doubts you can reach me on Facebook or Flip or Instagram, okay. So, take care, guys. Bye bye.